This is Imaginarium. I am Sokar. We're working in the Insane Mansion Seed. I don't know how many days it's been. I just got back from a trip to 7-Eleven, so I'm probably going to have to sleep tonight. Uh, what are we at? Noon? Yeah. It's always noon when I start playing. Uh, so I've been working on a creeper farm up there. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about that right now. Uh, let's put that away. I'm actually going to be working on this episode. Uh, what am I working on? Uh, sorry, the dog's distracted me. Let's see, we're going to put that away. Uh, I might need that. We're going to put away junk. We're working on a sugarcane farm. Uh, I'm going to start building my farms directly on the side of the uh, the mansion. The insane mansion that, we're, uh, that we got the whole seed for. Or the reason that we got this seed. I don't know. Yeah, that. So, here's what we got. I got this little pathway through here. Uh, I got a road. It's a road complete with like all these signposts coming directly over to here uh, in the mansion. Right there is my landing pad. I started cleaning it out. Um, I accidentally got myself, you could probably hear it, uh, accidentally got myself in a lay. Uh, I was just digging into the things, making sure there was one. One of them escaped, so I hurried up and grabbed him and brought him down here. He's sitting in there right now in a mine cart. Uh, there are other Alay up there. I think there are at least three or four more. Uh, because it's a woodland mansion, there are probably a dozen-ish. Uh, so I dug this out a little bit, made a room, it went upstairs a little bit, made a room, it went upstairs again. And, and mostly because I ran out of cobblestone because I was making stacks of uh, observers and pistons and such. And uh, I'm going to probably end up putting my storage room in here, or I might bump it all the way up there. We'll see. Uh, but right here, there's another little hallway hallway. There's another road. And this one comes from back here. I need to get some stairs in here at some point. Right here. There's the house, and this is where we go. Drop down out, right to the road. Here we are. Another road going right directly to the uh, Woodland Mansion. And I'm going to build uh, a series of farms right here, moving my way up the uh, foundation. So this one here is going to be uh, a sugarcane farm. And then I'm going to put the other standard farms here as well. So I've got a, a kelp farm there. That's, that's a kelp farm. Actually, I actually have two kelp farms. One of them just gathers kelp. Uh, the other one converts it directly into bone meal, which is a painfully slow process. But meh, whatever, it's there. Uh, so I'm going to uh, make a U-shape. So it's going to go like this and then over to right there, I think, and it's going to come back out. It's going to be a U. We're going to throw in some uh, a hopper line in here, and then uh, I'm going to put a bubble column right there in that corner that we can't see and uh, just funnel the – there's my soul sand – and just funnel the, uh, the items up there. And then currently this little channel here goes all the way to the very top. Let's take a look. Three rockets straight up. Ah! Four rockets straight up. Whoa, whoa. There we are. Uh, so this is the room that I flew up to. I just, like, flew from my base and threw a, a block down here to land on and then built out a little platform and uh, dug my way in. This is their little treasure room, which is kind of fitting because this is probably where I'm going to put my, my item storage. Uh, so I'm going to block this off. Uh, I think the lays are that way. As you can hear from skeletons and zombies, I have definitely not finished cleaning this place out, but whatever. It's not going to stop me from doing all of my uh, building of farms directly on their house. So that column goes right here, and I've got it all the way up to here, so I can put my bubble column here and have it come out into here and build my, uh, my item hall, my item storage facility. I like the word facility. We'll go with that. Uh, and maybe put the bubble column up to here and then sort it around the walls like that, uh, maybe with an additional line like they have here, uh, depending on how much storage stuff that I'm going to want there. But uh, that's it. We're going to do that. And there it is. But since I want to put the, uh, the hopper line here, I think. That means that I'm going to want to drop this down one additional 
spot. And then I'll have to do something. So I was putting in uh, my my dropper right here, and then uh, <gasps> ooh, I almost fall down. And I was just doing uh, an observer clock right here. So two observers facing each other, and then it's just always ticking, and it will always be uh, pumping items out of that uh, uh, the dropper. And then uh, run the, the mine cart over the top of it and just have it drop directly in. Uh, actually, I think I would want hoppers here. Put the dropper there and i was going to change it up and do uh, a clock that actually like the clock that people use for their item towers with a, a comparator so that it only takes while there are items in it but it, it's a little more work than is necessary and honestly i probably won't be over here very long or very often so the taking isn't going to drive me nuts but uh because i'm running on simulation distance 12 i think Oh yeah, this. <laughs> so I got just super tired of of uh, the Enderman blowing my stuff up. So I enabled the. Uh, I had a resource pack that was fine, but it wasn't working. I had to enable a behavior pack. Uh, that's this one here. Read more. What? Okay, so that one includes uh, no Enderman griefing and no uh, creeper griefing. Uh, just so they can't blow up my builds. But the Endermen... Uh, I, wow, I get a lot of those. Anyway, Endermen were taking stuff apart, and I just I turned it off. And the Endermen are crazy in this world for some reason. All right, so I think that we are going to just do the dropper. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to go sleep. Apparently, I don't have... Oops. Apparently, I don't have phantoms to deal with at the moment. But I should probably go do that sleep thing anyway. All right, so let's see here. This needs to be there. And that needs to be. Yep, totally works. Awesome. So uh, I've got a bunch of kelp. Uh, we'll just plant that in and get that uh, column filled up at some point. Uh, as much as it's kind of annoying to have to listen to that, uh, I think I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to be building on top of this and I don't want to try to get behind it in order to... And I don't think I can turn it off either. I cannot. Oops. What did I just do? I took off my helmet. How did I do that? That was weird. So we're going to we're gonna just have to deal with that, I think. Um, And actually, since I'm putting this on video maybe I shouldn't that will be all right so uh, I, I kind of want to document this just because it's not following any tutorial and I'm not building a, a tutorial either uh, but I, I understand that the stuff well enough we should be able to make this work so I do want some hoppers which are gonna be my redstone which is over this way dug out a little uh, spot here there's my hoppers right there I need two right now. So I want the hopper to be coming, shift click here, uh, the hopper to be going into the dropper, and then this hopper is going to be going into that hopper. There we go. Cool. So functions is advertised, we're good to go, and then the, uh, the minecart rails will go across the top of this hopper right here. And then uh, the minecart, as it drives past, that will be unloaded. So uh, because this is going to be a relatively large spot, I'm going to have, uh, I think, 15, 8, and 15. So that's 38, uh, whatever I'm building, sugar cane. Uh, I'm probably going to extend this out a couple both ways. So put two additional hoppers here and two additional there, just so that more is coming out of the hopper minecart. Actually, we're going we're gonna to do that now. Two 
two that way, two that way. That gives me an unload of five hoppers. And really, I have effectively unlimited iron, so I can make this as long as I wanted. I really, actually, you know what? We're going to. Let's, uh, let's see what we have here. I only have eight chests, but I've got lots of wood. I need to sleep anyway, so let's go, uh, go take a nap real quick. And then while we're there, we'll uh, get a stack of wood, turn it all into chests, and turn most of those into hoppers. And then we'll uh, go back and extend that hopper line. Uh, wood's right here. Just grab a full stack, because why not? All right, inventory is really full right now. Let's throw away that. I'll keep that because it stays in the redstone over there. Oops. Okay, one, two, chess. One, two, chess. I can do 11 with my iron. And I really need this sugarcane farm because I've been getting lazy, as you can see. I'm just using my elytra to go from here to there. <laughs> I mean, using the elytra to get up there, oh, for sure you want to do that. Uh, but flying from right here at my base to right there at my base, that that's just lazy. But because I'm doing that, uh, I, I, need, I need lots of gunpowder. So I'm actually pretty well stocked on uh, emeralds and even redstone. So I'm kind of here just to repair my stuff. But I mean, everything's repaired. My tools are repaired, swords are repaired, all my armor. It's all repaired. It's great. I love it. And I didn't even need to hit that last guy. All right, so let's see here. And of course, normally I'd come over here and buy some uh, redstone. Let's see where we're at. I just have so many emeralds. So many emeralds. Oh, yeah. And uh, a wandering trader came by, and he actually had some slime. You can only buy five slime. But, hey, whatever. It gives me a sticky piston. So now we can roll this guy. And because he had the better discount of these two, this guy wants uh, four emeralds for a bookcase, bookshelf. This guy wanted, uh, I think, six so I give him mending for two emeralds. Oh, yeah. This guy, I insist on getting protection for. Possibly unbreaking three, but I, I really want to get protection for because it's one of the more expensive ones. Uh, oh, infinity. And so because he has the better discount, I want to give him one of the expensive skills. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some, uh, get some more redstone. Why not? So the, uh, I'm level 60, that's awesome. The uh, creeper farm up there, it's not done yet. And so I don't have all of the, the trap doors on the ceilings and such. But it's, it's still, even on the levels that have the trap doors, uh, it's still generating a lot of non-creepers in, uh, in the spawns. So it's, it's really going to end up being more of a generic mod farm just because... That's what's spawning, but whatever. I'll take it and love it. Actually, let's go take a... Uh, there won't be anything spawned. Yeah, we're not going to worry about it. All right, so let's see here. We should have what we need. He's standing in the shadow of my road. That's pretty funny. Hi, soggy guy. Uh -huh. So uh, those two spots right there, Enderman. This missing sand here, Enderman. Enderman, Enderman, Enderman. All of this here was sand. All of it. Endermen are everywhere. Endermen, Endermen, uh, Endermen. I actually filled this one in a couple of times. 
because I'm not OCD, but I definitely have OCD tendencies. The majority of the random blocks of sand, that one, that one, that one, Enderman. Uh, that one there is probably Enderman. Enderman, Enderman, all three of those little spots there, it's all Enderman. And they were just terrible. I am, I'm going to go up here and complain about this for a second. And anyone who's watching this has very likely dealt with exactly this sort of thing in the past. Uh, so I'm definitely preaching to the choir. That's that's not too bad, I suppose. That's the one that's uh, converting it directly into uh, bone meal. This one here, uh, I've got a, a triple tower here, uh, growing some kelp. I've got the uh, the hopper minecart going underneath the sand there. The uh, observers themselves are waterlogged, so it, the water pushes it forward, which means you could build this any arbitrary width. Uh, it doesn't have to be, I think I did 8, uh, but it could be 8, it could be 39, whatever whatever arbitrary length you want because the water is always pushing forward and then down. So uh, when the, the kelp is harvested, it will always go onto the sand, that will always get it, and it drops it into this hopper line here, which flows into here. And then uh, with this hopper chain here, and I, there are other ways to do this, but whatever. I've got an iron farm, so I just threw in a bunch of hoppers. Uh, and this is tileable to whatever level you want. Yeah, throw it as high as you want. Uh, so we have lots of kelp. And then, of course, I use the kelp to uh, do stuff. So the Enderman somehow, and I have no idea how, managed to grab that piece of sand right there. And when he grabbed the sand, the water started flowing down and knocked out all my rails. When the rails went, all the rest of the sand fell down except for that one piece over there. That one didn't fall because the minecart was there. How did he get that one piece of sand? All these blocks were here. All those blocks were here. And obviously I was able to fix the thing, but it was really annoying. Uh, and that was the most annoying issue I've had, but it's not the only issue that I've had to fix uh, after Enderman. Uh, and then, of course, I've got this little project. We're going to do another one of those right here. We want Bound to be chunk aligned. We're going to have uh, the melons be three or four tiered high right here. And we're going to use a laze for that. But because of that, that's why I went ahead and installed the uh, the behavior pack to uh, make it so that the uh, Endermen and the Creepers wouldn't blow stuff up and move things. Which is a tragedy because this is the first time... I've, I've ever actually played in a world where achievements cannot be earned because I don't run the cheats. Uh, if, I, if I want to go, I don't know, explore what's underneath here, you can always just make a creative copy and then come back into the real world, but <laughs> the real world. Uh, but I, I just got tired of them, so we're, we're going to deal with it, I think. One, two, three, four, five. So I want three more. One, two, three. And then we're going to go out that way. One, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So all these uh, these hoppers then are coming into this hopper, which is going to there, which is being ticked forever. Uh, I'm going to have to put a, a glass wall right here. Glasses in uh, the farm box, which I think is right there. Yeah, it's that brown one. Uh, but that gives me uh, 16 or 15 different hoppers uh, for the hopper minecart to unload in. So that's going to work. We'll be okay. Uh, I kind of like using the redstone lamp to light these things up. Uh, because then I can put a switch. Uh, let's see here. Let's go over here. I don't have powered rails. Having a switch like right here to power my rails will also disable those hoppers. So that's why I've been using the uh, the redstone lamp. Um, I don't remember how, how far that works. All right, so I'm going to want to build this out. This is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight total. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I do the same pattern, then this here will be the hopper line for the other branch. Well, I mean, it'll be where the, the yeah. All 
All right, so the, the minecart will be running right up to the edge of this. So the build itself is going to come out probably one more one more block this way. So the build itself will be on the edge of the road. I do like the uh, the regular basalt with uh, the stone on the side. It does look pretty road-like. Uh, I've done another build. Um, what did we do? Was it tiled deep slate? I think tiled deep slate looks pretty good as a road, too. Actually, I think... Is that one tiled deep slate? That one is tiled deep slate. Let's go take a... Um, Yeah, that one almost looks better, actually. But I do like this as a road. Uh, and, of course, I used it because I was... Uh, this, I have to go downstairs and mine manually. But I've got a basalt generator. So I just have mountains of this stuff. All right, so let's see here. Let's get our powered rails. Probably going to need more of those. Maybe not. We might be okay. All right, so powered rails don't turn. I remember that. Cool. Oops. He. So those parts there need to be regular. So we want to do some powered. That one has to be powered. And that one has to be powered. You want the end to be powered because then when it runs into a solid block, the minecart will automatically return. Yeah, you can't pick stuff up, huh, jerk? I might as well make all those powered, why not? All right. So there we go. There's the rail system. So I'm going to have to encase that. I'm going to need... Uh, some, whatever, what do I need? Oh, I need, uh, this. I need glowstone. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Let's do 10. I have redstone. I did. What happened to it? What? I must have left it up there after all. All right, so redstone lamps. Yep. Just got to double check and make sure this works the way I think it does. Alright, so we'll get at least those four. So I need one, two, three, four. I need four more levers. So there we go. Our rails are powered. Presumably we don't have anything turning these off. Okay, that worked. Nice. Nice. We are good to go. All right, so now that we have this, we can uh, throw in a layer of stuff on top. Now, the... I'm going to do something a little different with this. The uh, sugar cane requires water to be next to it in order to grow. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is put the water 
Uh, oh, hello, Coraline. You are such a cutie puppy. I'm going to put the water next to it, but I'm not going to use the water for collection. So the sugar cane itself will be on sand placed directly on top of this. I'll have the water behind it. So we're going to have to build. Don't need more of those. Let's get this. Actually, I don't want to build it with this. What do I want to build with this? Oh, no, this I want to build with the uh, the brown terracotta. Which means I might need to fix some of that. Brown terracotta is here. Okay, so... Minecart will be here, sand will be on top of it, water will be next to that. And that means that I need, oh, that's not going to be able to be there. The, uh, the water is probably going to flow that off, so I'm going to have to put the, put the lever on the outside. So the lever's going to be on the outside. Going to need regular blocks here. Okay, there we go. That looks better. All right, so I'm going to have to move this one, at least most likely. Actually, I should probably test it. Nah, we're not going to worry about it. We'll just put it on the outside. There we go. Uh, I should probably put something in here. There we go. All right, so the water is going to be on top of this. There's going to be sand on top of this. Uh, that means that we need to contain this on both sides. reason we went to 15 is so you could throw a water there and a water there and you can do 16 uh it will still work but yeah 15 is more fun and actually if you count that it's 15 here it is 16 so let's put that there right because this is gonna be part of the farm that's not uh i've actually never seen a layout like this for uh sugarcane farms i'm sure someone has done something similar that was really loud. I'm sure someone has done something similar with it, so uh, I wouldn't imagine that I'm the first person to come up with any of this stuff. Uh, but it's uh, it's new to me, and I think it's going to turn out pretty well. Is it too late to sleep? Probably. We'll give it a shot anyway. I just like keeping up on it so the phantoms don't come annoy me.
Ugh, I don't have enough inventory space. Uh, finally getting uh, pretty well stocked up on my on my kelp fuel. So that's uh, that's looking good. I mean, I've got uh, this over here that I'm eventually going to do. Switch over to that, but I'm stocking up on my fuel in the meantime. We're going to do... Uh, I've seen several people have smelters of this type before with uh, one rail line supplying fuel and another rail line supplying stuff to be smelted. Uh, the system I'm going to give a shot to will be uh, Prowl's system. I kind of like the way he built his. Maybe I should blow that creeper up just to verify that the pack works. Meh, whatever. Okay, so water's going to go there. Sand is going to go here. I don't think I have sand. I should have got that while I was up there. Blast. That's all the sand I have? Wow. Time to go dig up a desert. Oh, wait, that's why I have this. <laughs> I think I just bought that straight up for one emerald. If not, there's an unbreaking two and efficiency two, and I just combined them. But I'm pretty sure I just bought that straight up, which is nice. I mean, a diamond shovel with unbreaking two and efficiency two, that's that's pretty badass for a single emerald. I mean, I'd, I'd pay full price with no problem. Okay, here we go. Let's try. Yep, we're looking good. Okay, there's that. Now we want to have a block there so that the uh, minecart will bounce off and go back the other way. Let's put away some rails. Try to keep up with my inventory space a little. Whoops, not that. Actually, we can leave the kelp there for now. The kelp is just for the water column right here. And I have no idea how tall that is, but it's probably more than 100 blocks. So that two stacks may or may not even be enough. Uh, water will have to be here. Oh... Water will have to be here. That's doable. We can do this. Okay, so. Water is here. The water will be held in on this side by sand. Oh, what am I doing with this? Got to put the lever on this side. Okay, there we go. And I might be okay with the lever being there, but I think the water will flow down through it. So putting water here and flowing over that is going to wreck everything. So we need the lever to be on the back side. All right, so let's see here. So much cobblestone. Okay, so I need, oh wait, that was my entryway into here. I need a new entryway. Okay, okay, um, let's open on the back side here. We'll use cobblestone because this is all going to be temporary. Ah! <laughs> Really, I should be using netherrack for this. Anything temporary should be netherrack just because ease of cleanup.
All right, there we go. Now I can get into my little temp area. I don't have to worry about blocking it off on the back side. I'm going to have to get back into here, so... There we go. Alright, that should be solid. Yep, yep. Looking good. Cool. Alright, so the sand will continue here. Why is it going faster? I swear that just doubled in speed. That's weird. All right, and then the sand will continue here. Uh, these are gonna have to go onto the back side. <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? Is it stuck in there? Because, oh no, I have it. Ugh. I just shot directly into my inventory. Alright, so this part can be cobble because it's in their actual spot. I'll leave that open for now just so I can get to it. But this, actually... Can't get in that way anymore. All right, so there we go. All of those are powered. The powered rails are then therefore powered. All the switches are on the back side, so water won't get in the way. Sand the rest of this. Oh. A block at the end. Okay, cool. All right, so in theory, the uh, minecart with hopper is good to be just thrown down right now. And in fact, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I can verify that it's working. Can I jump down in here and get back out? Yep, yep, and I can come in from here. Cool. All right, so apparently I don't have a hopper minecart. Oh, yes, I do. There it is. Stick it next to the block, and it'll just take off. Love it. Okay, so now let's throw a couple of things here. 28. Love it. I'll throw a couple of things here. Love it. And I heard that spitting out, so we should be good. I should have 10 of them over there. Love it. Awesome. Working as advertised. All right, so now we can run our water here. Uh, we're going to need... I don't need this to be sand. 
And I don't need this to be sand. We do need something there, but we don't need it to be sand. Five, six, seven. So really, I should have gone one more. I don't want to move everything, so we're just going to leave it at seven. But uh, actually, I could still leave that as sand. I mean, the the minecart does go underneath it. I can put water right here. Okay, we're going to. We do want this one to be sand. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I don't even need a block here, but we're gonna. Hey, I need that. We don't need a block here, but we're going to put one there anyway. We'll put our water here. Not yet. Always got to have infinite water source wherever I'm working. Okay, water right here should go right down to the end, no problem. Cool. Oh, the water goes here, of course. So I needed to not fill that in. Why is that 12? I swear I counted 15, 13. See, I can't have the water here, though. Now, I can't extend it that way. Let's go see what this looks like. Water is going to be here, no problem. Well, it's right there, so no problem. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15. Oh, yeah, just the sand comes to here. Silly me. I mean, easy enough fix, but still pretty, pretty silly. Okay, so here we go. We got that. Let's get uh, more powered rails. I think I only need two. Whoops. Yep, there we go. Okay, sand, sand. Now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that would be the fifteenth, but we're gonna I can't have water here in order to water this. Because either here or there, the water would flow down into here and mess things up. Um Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna just leave that one corner not watered. Uh, we'll do a 14, eight, and four, uh, 15. It'll work out great. So let's go ahead and do our water then. Yay. Now, what do we need here? So right here, we need uh, the pistons. And that actually means that we need observers above it. And 
that also means that we need a row back here to be able to put redstone on the pistons. Actually, I should lift the bottom one. Okay. Can't quite sprint mine. Whoops. Can't quite sprint mine the cobblestone. All right, so let's see here. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do the pistons directly there, I don't think. I'm gonna have to have temporary blocks on the, across the back. Actually, it won't be temporary blocks. This one stays here because the redstone goes on top of it. Okay. Pistons and redstone. <laughs> no idea how I just bumped my mouse like that. Uh -huh. Meh. I always double check those guys. Just in case. Alright, let's see here. Oh, that doesn't go there. That goes here. Is this gonna... No, it doesn't. It goes one higher. Okay, so the... the yeah, it goes right there. the sugar cane will be here and then the pistons will need to be one higher than that so they're going to be right here yes 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 okay cool Now we need the observers. The observers are going to be that way. And then I need... Cobblestone. Yes, cobblestone here. I think. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I think that means I need to. I don't remember. Uh, let's see here. Okay, there's that. So that should be working as advertised. And in theory, you don't need uh, observers all the way down. You can do like five observers in the whole thing. And that's what I was originally planning. But I just have so many. No, you know what? We're going to let's let's just do that. OK, so I want that one and that one. One, two.
It's not exactly symmetrical, but whoops, I'm actually stuck. All right, fine. See, I'm, I'm definitely not OCD, but I, I do have some tendencies. <laughs> this this might be one of them. There we go. Good enough. I like it. Uh, and it will work, so... And you totally could put uh, observers in every spot, but you really, you don't need it. The way it's wired up, uh, any one of those kicks off and pretty much everything will go. The exception will be if uh, that observer right there triggers because the, the sugar king grows up. This last piston might not trigger, but it doesn't matter because then this one will grow up and then it'll trigger all of them except for that last one down there. So, meh. It's uh, it, it's not a problem, and it's it's a little more resource friendly too, uh, if you don't happen to have your iron farm already built. But eh, iron farm is most people's first build. It's been my first build for a while now. Uh, let's see here. So let's get in some sugar cane and provide proof of concept. Oh, I need to block this all off. I have no idea if I'm the person who discovered this or not. I would assume not. But you can actually, in Bedrock, just hold down your right mouse button. You can actually sprint that. It's kind of nice. I'm not a speed bridger by any means, but when I'm laying blocks next to other blocks, that's definitely the fastest way I've seen to do it. Oops. Get lined up and just walk. Wah! <laughs> Obviously, I'm uh, perfecting the art still. Oops, don't hold down shift. You're supposed to hold down control. Okay, now we want glass. Uh, glass is going to be in the farm box. Yep. Oh my goodness. Struggling on this one. Alright, so I do want to be able to see here. Wow, that's a whole stack. That's crazy. So that side I don't want glass on. Do I want that as, as the corner? Do I want it? Ah, let's do glass, why not? Okay, so there we are. We can actually plant this stuff now, I believe. We can, cool. Alright, 
and to keep stuff from getting everywhere, getting lost. I want a lid on top of everything. Oh, that needs to go up one higher. Okay. Definitely need more glass. Got to go dig up a desert. I do kind of like that corner, actually. As much as I hate wasting glass. Why do I have... Oh, my goodness. I left that one at the corner, so let's leave this one at the corner. Don't need a corner there, though. Um, need. Actually, I've got some chests. Let's put those away. Uh, I do need the observers still. cough. It's actually pretty bad. It was. Alright, so let's see here. I've got cobblestone there because it doesn't matter. So let's put cobblestone here. Okay. And then we want a lid. Okay, so everything should be nice and contained now. Let's go ahead and get our minecart back in there. Off it goes. Oh, just kidding. Nice, nice. We have ourselves a functioning farm. All right, so right here we have proof of concept. Everything works as intended. So now we can just duplicate all the way around. We'll be good to go. Uh, I'm going to do this other side first. Yeah, this is uh, shaping up nicely. I, I really like how this is turning out. Oops. And I think it's going to look nice, too. Since that, you know, is, is definitely a factor. All right, so let's see here. Where do I need to be? Right there or right there? All right, so pistons will be here. Observers will be 
you there. We need... Actually, we're going to do, because this is the outside wall, we're going to do the brown terracotta instead of the cobblestone for that. And again, for appearances, we're just going to... Hiya, fellas! Go ahead and fill that in. Whoops. I need that there. All right. And then we want redstone here, including there and there. Now we want some of these. Oh, this one actually does work this way. There we go. This is the way I originally intended it. Have one, skip two, have one, skip three. And then from the other side, you have one, skip two, have one, skip three. That one turned out different because it's one shorter. Because this observer is right here, whereas that observer is in one. So it pushed everything closer. This one looks nicer. All right, so now we can put in some filler blocks. Not, not there though. We don't, we don't want that. Oh my! <gasps> Zombie villagers. They're far enough away though. I don't think I want to bother catching them. I do need more. I need like twenty more of them. Uh. I need like 18 more of them. All right, so that should be good to plant my sugar cane. I like how the water in this build is, is just completely hidden. Because that's going to be covered up too, so you won't be able to see that either. It's just, just totally hidden. Um, Let's see here. So we want our lid. Look at all those mobs. All right, so the minecart goes underneath all that, so we're good there. No idea how I'm going to get out on that side, but whatever. We'll we'll work with it. All right, so we want cobblestone. temporary stuff I might even be able to stay there maybe really I should probably put in a couple of glowstone in these corners here I probably should uh, let's see here so pistons needs to be all the way down pistons observers I don't know how I'm gonna do the observers here yet And now I'm stuck. No big deal. Oops. <laughs> I guess I guess we can't really let the lantern stay there after all. Oh. A little higher than I thought I was. Okay, so let's see here. Let's do one, skip two, one. One, skip two, one. That ah, works. Cool.
All right, and then give me these. Actually, these are cobblestone because it's inside the fortress itself. I should probably put some kind of a temporary storage thing over here. Well, no, I'll uh, I'll fly up and sleep here in a minute, and then we'll come back and do the bubble column and at least throw it into like a double chest up there or something. All right, so let's see here. We want sugar cane. There we go. This is actually turning out to be. Uh, really cool i mean it, it worked the way i envisioned it uh it advertised yeah it works as advertised is, is what we're going for there but uh it it ended up being not really all that difficult in terms of uh having to fix things and readjust things it it just really came together so it's uh it's really cool that it turned out that way uh, I am going to put in some more brown terracotta here. I might actually fill everything in to make a solid floor because above this, I'm going to do another farm. I'm going to do probably two layers of this, and then I'll do another layer or two of bamboo, another layer or two of kelp, and then I might just keep going because why not? Uh, the uh, the whole concept of, of this world is uh, that I am just sort of infiltrating the, the illagers and their, their little fortress of doom here and i'm just taking over all of it and i didn't even bother killing him first i'm just taking up all the real estate it's awesome all right so let's sort out my inventory then we'll go back upstairs always with the seven I hope I remember to mute that other game so we don't hear all these random explosions in the feed. Uh, if I forgot to mute it, I apologize. Okay, let's see here. Glass goes here. I do want to put a couple of these out real quick. Not right now, I don't. That's got to be at least night two. Well, I mean, it can't be night three, I guess. There were no phantoms. But I'm pretty sure I didn't sleep the previous night. All right, let's check this thing from uh, from up high. See what it looks like. That is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, of course, I'll have to cap everything in with the brown terracotta there and it'll look a little less cool but it's uh it's just it's really cool to, to bridge across with a road and lamp posts and everything and just start building this is uh this is gonna be a really cool world i'm glad that uh uh toy cat toy cat toy cat found it uh and put it out there and of course i'm glad that crack magnet uh found it for toy cat to find it because uh this has been a lot of fun to to build stuff up in so uh i'm gonna finish that at some point the uh the creeper farm that could end up being a creeper farm or mostly a creeper farm i don't even know it might end up being just a generic mob farm uh but in any case we'll finish it and uh that way i've got some more to, to hang out the way it's it's sitting right now i've got i think three active layers there might be four and i'm still getting skeletons and zombies and even the occasional spider despite the fact that i have buttons everywhere uh, but still, I ran AFK there. I just stood there on the platform while I took a nap for five hours. And I got, I don't know, four and a half stacks of gunpowder. I mean, it, it's not lots. It's, it's uh, not the sort of quantities to write home about. But uh, it is it is definitely not bad for uh, just sitting around. It's definitely not bad for what I need. Okay, so let's see. Here is good. Do another one here. Oh, 
Oh, I put away my glass. All right, so that should keep things nice and lit. One of those. Oops. There we go. All right, so this is effectively good to go. Oh, no, that's right. I got to do the bubble column. All right, so we are going to throw that in real quick. Uh, okay, so how am I going to do this? I'm going to need... All that's going to need to be cobblestone. I'm going to have to fill that in. So we're going to need a couple of stacks of cobblestone. Uh, which is here. We're just going to grab five stacks, because why not? All right, so I've got a bunch of kelp. No, I don't. I'll bring that with me. Uh... Actually, I don't need it because I'm going to have to fall down and start planting at the bottom anyway. So I'll get the kelp in a minute. Eh, I have space. All right, so why 78? So 128 is 206. Hopefully uh, up there is not higher than level 206. It probably is. It, it most certainly is. And of course, I could do uh, the item storage lower down, but I don't know. I mean, the, the whole concept of breaking into their house and just taking over, it seems like I should put the item storage in their house. And the fact that I'm putting their my item storage in their little treasure room, that's just that's so fitting. I didn't even plan it out that way, but it's, it's too cool to, to turn down. All right, so in order to put all the kelp in that that high of a water column, I definitely need a water breathing potion. Oh, that's a problem. I don't have a water breathing potion, and I'm pretty sure I don't have a bucket of puffer fish. I have puffer fish from fishing. That might work. It might work. We'll try. If not, we'll have to save uh, this bubble column for a different episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely more than two stacks of, of uh, kelp. Realistically, I'm going to have to go up a little higher. Put this temporary block right here so I don't fall down. Is that the skeleton's got to be like right here? I thought I lit this up. It could be on a higher level, I suppose. What's that? Did I do that? I had to have looted this. That must have been there though, because the beetroot seeds would have been scattered out, and that means I've cleared out the room. Alright, this is uh, X54. X56, zero, one and two blocks. One block there, one block there, that's it. Yeah, nothing hidden. Okay. Gotta be above me, or maybe just through that wall or something. All right, let's see here. Uh, dark oak.
I'm just kidding. I don't need that one. Put that back. All right, so there's the bubble column. We are going to come up to there. Let's get rid of this temporary one now. Bye-bye. All right, so the bubble column will come up to here. And actually, we want that to be gone. We'll put a, a water source right there to flow out. And then... And then from there, we will uh, bring it into my storage. And actually, that means I'm going to want to probably put it higher. I want it uh, to start out up by the roof. Uh, so that I can flow down into like five layers and then do all the item sorting that way. Uh, also, if I want to keep this doorway open, I want to bring it out and bring it across. So, yeah, let's do let's do a little higher. That works. That works. That's going to be great. Okay. All right. So the water will flow out over there. For now, I'm going to probably just throw a couple of chests right here uh, so that I'm collecting something. Do I have chests? No, because I put them away. Okay. Uh, so I have the water flow out over a hopper. Put the hopper right here, pointing down into a double chest right there. Good enough. Um, such a long ways down. that we can leave this here want two of those that goes there oh yeah I can't check that anymore okay um oh, I can't go up that way I gotta fly up okay all right, so let's see here. I am going to install that. I am going to throw some water up there. Let's get another water since I'm here. Ah! Totally forgot what I was doing. I remember. We're going to do this. Use those temporary blocks. Actually, we'll use scaffolding. You can hold shift over here. Whereas over here, it's going to make you go down if you hold shift. So I just take one out so that I can shift click. What the? That was weird. Took fall damage. All right, there we go. And then in order for this to work, we're going to want... Put that there. And of course, I'll have to go down and uh, fill that thing full of kelp. I do need another stack of kelp. And then we'll put another water source block right here, which should flow out this way. Um, where are you at? He's got to be above me. Uh, for now, though, let's get... All right, so now the water will flow to there. It'll cover that. It'll flow down into the chest, so we're good. All I need now is the... Uh, uh, I forget how that goes in the offhand. Uh, I normally carry a stack up here just so that I have backup, uh, and it doesn't eat up inventory space that way. So I need a water-breathing potion to put kelp through all of that, and then it will become a bubble column, and then all the... Uh, 
uh, sugar cane that's being grown and harvested right now will go into this chest. And then, of course, we'll run this across that way and start developing a uh, an item sorter. And we'll make this the uh, the item storage for the world here in a little bit. Still no inventory space, of course. I keep forgetting this. Um, all right, so I need to see if the puffer fish that you get from fishing count for a water breathing potion. And that will determine whether or not we're at the end of the video. I think they do count. I'm pretty sure they do. So I'm also pretty sure that we need to start with the suspicious. Wait, what is this? Do I have a water breathing? No. Dragon's breath. Yay. Actually, I remembered this time. Uh, okay, so nether wart. Let's make it suspicious. Well, it's doing something. <laughs> so it probably will be. Uh, in which case, I also want what? I don't want the gunpowder for splash. I do want a redstone. Unless it's uh, one of the glowstone ones. Should be redstone to make lingering. Ocean of water breathing, yay. And that's doing stuff, so it's probably going to be lingering. Or not lingering. The longer version. Well, hello, little Coraline. How nice of you to come hang out. You are such a cutie puppy. I love my little Coraline. Oh, yeah, even the water breathings. Actually, let's do this. I love being totally out of inventory space. Um, you're not going to fill that full of water breathing potions and make water breathing tipped arrows. <laughs> At least I think I can. Can I do that with all potions? I think I can. All right, let's get rid of some junk. Uh, wood goes here. Why do I have a stack of that? Might as well turn that into paper and turn it both into rockets, I guess. Okay, there we go. All right, got the stack in the offhand, the stack regular, ready to go. Uh, I could probably get away with offloading one stack of the cobblestone. Pick up the partial. Gunpowder can go there. Okay, so now we're looking a little better on inventory space. I should have more than two stacks of uh, kelp over here. It's a kitty. Oh, definitely. So I'm going to need at least three stacks for that water tunnel over there. Whew. All 
All right, so there's the three stacks. Actually, let's put them in here for now so I can compress all this. two and a half and half of this one two half half of that okay cool there we go oh yeah finally get gonna get that fully filled up we'll have a little bit of extra here looking good all right now grab my three stacks one two three uh let's get four just to be safe i can always put it back uh i did not bring my water breathing potion This way. Pick up a little uh, sugar cane while we're there. Or not. Oh, that's right. I got to swap that out for regular dirt or something first. Sand works. change that from the side? I don't think I do I? How do I change that? I don't remember. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I have to plant it all while it's sand and then once it's all planted it's already all source blocks then I just swap it out
All right, so three was good enough. Okay, so now I can just go all the way back down and swap out that for that. Because now all of those are source blocks. And I'm going to have like two and a half stacks of kelp sitting in that double barrel, double chest. I hope that isn't too far to send items, come to think of it. I'm not sure what the limit on that is. I know that mobs will spawn between like 24 and 128 blocks. That is definitely more than 128 blocks. But mob spawning is different than items. Whee! Why am I not picking those up? There we go. All right, now we should be able to do this. Perfect. Love it. So the bubble column is complete. It's washing out over this. And now anything that goes up through the column should come into that uh, double chest right there. So what we need now is a test. Oh, there we go. Perfect. This is an actual test. All right, they've all been picked up. Let the minecart do a couple of trips. And that should be plenty of time to drop all that off. So, rocket. Since I'm here. Oh, I love it. I love it. That is so cool. We have ourselves a functioning, awesome sugarcane farm. Oh, that is that is absolutely beautiful. I managed to get the entire thing into one video, so I'm probably not going to uh, like edit it. I'm going to probably just do it as, as one long play uh, just because... I don't know. I mean, the whole thing was a work in process and, and figuring things out step by step. And that's kind of the whole point of doing these videos. It's not so much for a uh, uh, tutorial necessarily. It's it's figuring things out and doing things. And the fact that I'm doing something that's different than most farms is really cool because uh, it will hopefully uh, inspire you to come up with your own little uh different things and watching me go through the process of okay so the minecart's got to be here and the hopper's there and how many of these do we need and can i get away with less fewer i should say fewer observers all of that should help you come up with your own uh designs and details and that's uh i think what is important because then we can build things uh that are custom to our own little worlds and uh everything will work out and be cool and not everybody has the same kelp farm uh so thanks for coming along for the adventure. We're gonna we're gonna go AFK here uh, since it's nighttime, and uh, hopefully in the morning. Wait, what do we got here? A bunch of arrows I need to get rid of. Uh, hopefully in the morning, some of these guys will still be spawned because they have helmets. So here's what we got. I'll show you real quick. Uh, the uh, tutorial didn't include the magma blocks. I just did that because I saw the zombies were. Uh, staying there for a couple of seconds. All right, so I've got buttons on the inside. I used to have trap doors here, but I think they might have been able to stand on the trap door. So I would come up here in the daytime, and there would be three or four uh, zombies and a skeleton that would be stuck right here. And they'd have a helmet on because there's open daylight. They should be burning, but with a the helmet, they're not. And they don't move. Like, I can get right up next to them, and they'll just be looking at me. Whack them with a sword, knock them down the hole. They die. Uh, did I hear a drown? I thought I did. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna let this run and see what happens. Now up here, because there's no roof and no uh, trap doors to try to prevent the zombies and skeletons, you should get anything. Same with this floor. I don't have the trap doors here to try to prevent the zombies and skeletons. Right here, though, you've got the trap doors, you got the buttons. This floor should, in theory, only be spawning creepers. So we'll uh, come back up in the morning wah, and see what we have uh, to see if we still have zombies or if there are just creepers or nothing. I mean, if it were creepers, theoretically, we should have nothing. So. Uh, but anyway, thanks for coming along for the adventure. It's uh, It's been lots of fun. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Uh, I need to go back down and do some cosmetic stuff to it, of course. Uh, fill up the top with, with more of the brown terracotta. Take out my temporary stuff uh, that I made for climbing around and things. Uh, yay, it's a creeper. Ooh, it's two creepers. And two skeletons. Uh yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun building that, so I'm glad that you came along for the journey. If you happen to still be sticking around, good for you, because I know this is a very long uh, long video. Um, and we'll see you in the next one.